Hi, my name is Gisela Marti and I am the creative director for Tammy Taylor Nails. And today, I'm going to show you how to have fun by using colors and doing designs. Our guest artist, of course, is going to be the Gel Prisa. Gel Prisa is our newest line of three-in-one gel polish. It's a base coat, it's a color, and it's a top coat, all in one. So, let's get started. For this technique that I'm gonna be teaching you today, which is light over dark, we're gonna use the following products. We're gonna be working with our gel polish, clean slate. Our gel paints, black. We're gonna finish our design with our top gel plus. We're going to be cleaning the gel polish with our clean it solution. For our three-dimensional designs, we are going to be working with our competitive edge, whitest white powder. We are going to be working with our A plus liquid. Of course, we're gonna need a dab and dish. We are going to be working with our 3D brush and our dotting tool. Of course, last but not least, we're gonna need some white pits and towelettes. In this technique of light over dark, what we're gonna do first, we are going to mix the gel paint black with our gel prisa clean slate. And we are going to bring it out to a different level. So you're gonna put on this little plastic or in a plastic or um, an aluminum foil, whatever you want to do the mix, enough paint like for two coats. Now remember, if you're doing all the nails, then you have to place more. Be sure to mix the color in for every nails the same. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my black over here and I'm gonna put it into my gray gel prisa and I'm going to bring it to a dark level. And I'm gonna go little by little. I'm not going to put all the color because I don't know how dark it's going to get. So I'm gonna go little by little. As I'm intensifying my gel prisa, I determine if I want darker or if I don't want it darker, if it's the color is perfect like that. And it's getting there. I like the color that is coming out. It's like a dark slate, like an iron color. And I can put just a tiny bit more of the color into my gel prisa. Here we go, it's perfect. That is a perfect dark color. Clean the tip of your tool and then take the excess of the product out so you can use the brush of your gel prisa uh, polish. And now we are gonna be polishing the nails. Let's polish the nail now with the desired shade and be sure that the first coat is not too thick very important the first coat should be a very light coat the second one is going to come to make it darker so we start somewhere here we are be sure that you cover totally the sides and don't forget to cap the nail now this is an awesome awesome color cap the nail and again, fix every angle. If you're doing all the nails, don't forget that since this is the first coat to quick cure for two seconds, but we only doing one design. Okay, I have, I need a little bit more over here. And here we go. And now I'm gonna cure for two minutes. Okay, it's been two minutes. Now we're gonna put the second coat on the nail. And uh, this one, you don't have to do a quick cure if you were to be doing the whole hand on the color, just the second application. But since we're only doing a design, it's only one nail, we don't even have to worry about anything that has to do with a quick cure. 
Be sure to cover the sides. Be sure that you have to cap the nail. And um, we go a little bit, so like that you cover totally and the color comes even. Here we are. Now, this is an awesome color. Now we are going to cure for another two minutes. Okay, as you see, this is this brush that I have over here that I used to mix the color. It has a little bit of um, the gel paint at the end of the brush. It's contaminated. I don't want to put it like that in top of my gel, my gel polish because I don't want it to change any color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip it in my Clinic, which I have over here in my dab and dish. So just dip it and be sure to clean completely the brush until there is no color and you can put the brush back in the bottle. So here it is. It's already clean. Now it's ready for me to put it back. Now we're working with the Competitive Edge Wide and Wide Powder and also with the A Plus Liquid. Of course, the brush that we're using is our three-dimensional brush. And it's very important because the point of the three-dimensional brush has to be very, very sharp. If the brush loses the sharpness at the end, you're not going to be able to mark the balls. So very important to keep that sharpness at the end, at the tip of this brush. We're going to dip. And when I dip, go down, come up, and in a very soft way, keeping my point, I'm going to take the excess of the liquid. Once I take the excess of the liquid, then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab on a small ball. Here it is. That's my ball. If you think that the ball is extremely too big, then let it go. And you have to let it go and grab on a smaller one. This is the perfect size. Now, to clean the brush, once I place the ball, I'm going to come over here, and this is the way you want to clean the brush, by doing circular motion on the brush. That's the way you keep that point sharp. See? That's my point right there. Okay, so here we go. Now we're gonna do it. We're gonna take that small ball and we're gonna place it right here. Once the ball start to spread, as you see over there, then you're gonna come and you're going to just squeeze, squeeze, and open the petal that you are doing. See, that's my petal right there. I'm going to open with the point, but I'm going to flat with the back of my brush. Back again for my second one. Don't forget, whenever you're taking the excess of the liquid out, you're going to twist. My second ball is right here. I'm going to put it right this place. One starts to open just like it is doing right now. I'm going to come with the point of my brush and open it by pulling back the product. See? Then I'm going to flat with the body of the brush. That's my second petal right there. Go back for my third ball. And now I'm going to put my third ball right in here. Once the ball is in there, and let me put the, the hand in position that you can see it. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to open, open, open. And with the back of the brush, I'm going to flat the petal. But with the point, 
I'm going to mark. So there we go. We already have three petals on the nail. Now I'm going to do the center. My center, which is going to be over here, I'm going to put another ball right in this area. Go back on a small size ball and place it right there. Okay, now we're going to open it exactly the same way that I opened the other ones. I'm going to come over here and by leaving an empty space, I'm opening right there that petal. And I'm going to make a closure of that particular petal with a tiny ball smaller than the other one that I'm going to put right in here. When I put that little ball in there, I'm going now to square it just to create that closing of this petal. If I have to go inside to fix it, I go with the point. That's why the point is so important. Point is what is going to mark over here. I want to push it a tiny bit. So I'm going to come over here and push it and bring it all the way straight out. And there is my flower. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put another petal right here and another one over here just to have a completion and a balance of my design. So I'm going to put my ball right there. Take the excess of the liquid out and then come back over here and with the point again, mark, open the petal, see how I'm opening. And then once it's open with the back of the brush, just flat it. And you can bring it closer as you have a petal right there. My second one right on the side Go back and get on a small size ball and put it side by side right there. See, let me see. Let me turn the hand so you can see. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but look at the position of the brush. I'm just going in an angle the other way. So it's the opposite to the other petal that I did. See, again. If I want to close it a little bit more, I close it a little bit more. If I want to flat more the back, all what I have to do is just flat with the back of my brush. And there goes the two petals. Now we're almost done. Now we're going to put the net that goes with this design. So to complement, we're going to be working with our white paint and once again you have to use the same color because this technique is light over dark the same color of what you already have in the nail I'm using white so I'm going to be working with my white paint and I'm going to throw on a small line right there right can you see the line it's right there now I'm going to come on the side of my big flower and I'm going to show some long lines and I'm going to start right here and it doesn't have to be in a straight line. It could be a wiggle line because when you have nets, nets are not perfect. They are not completely straight. So it doesn't matter. You just bring it right there, the lines. Another one over here. Right there. Okay. And another one, probably over here. There you go. Now we're going to close those, um, those lines. And what we're going to do is we're going to do some lines sideways just to close the net. Just to close the net. Okay. Very tiny details. Very tiny details. Right there. Right here. Here. 
right here until you get to the end. You can even bring this part over here as it was from here and make another line right there. There we go, we have a knit. Now with the help of the dotting tool, we're gonna put some dots in some areas of the knit, like for example over here, over here, another one over here. What it, this is doing, it is just emphasizing the design right there. Let's make this one a little bit bigger to give that detail of the knit right there. See? Now I'm gonna use the same, the same uh, paint and I'm going to be doing some dot around the flower. Around the flower, I'm gonna put over here some dots and I'm gonna bring it until it's smaller, smaller, smaller. See, smaller. Again, around here, I'm gonna put another one, just a tiny dot over here, maybe one over here and over here. You are the one who is taking charge of this design. You put it, you put those dots, whatever you think that is going to emphasize your design. See, right there. It's looking good. I'm gonna go with my brush again, and with the point, I'm gonna throw a tiny line over here, very thin line, very thin lines, very thin lines. There we go. Our design is almost finished. I want to bring light into the design. Always, when you're working with um, light over dark, you want to use a metallic color to bring it out. So, what are we going to do is right in here, I'm going to throw on a small line just parallel to the white, just to bring that shine. Look at the shine, how nice it is. And I can do the same thing over here, just throw on a small detail of shine. See, that's nice right there. And I also want to put it in a small detail on this other one over here. Right here. And that's it, those are my, my little details of shine into my technique of light over dark. The rest, it is to cover all the details that I place, uh, not on the 3D, but on the, on the sides of the 3D with my Top Gel Plus. My Top Gel Plus is gonna seal every detail I put over there. Do I wanna put the Top Gel Plus in top of the 3D? No. Because if I put it in top of the 3D, it would be like taking the elegance of the design out, so only it's going to be on the surroundings of the flowers or the petals. The petals should stand by itself looking matte. So I'm gonna come over here with my Top Gel Plus because my, my paint is completely dry, especially when I put the, the dots on the sides. And once I cover completely the whole area. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in the lamp and we're gonna cure for two minutes. Okay, let's recap the technique of light over dark. Once again, we mix a color and you don't have to use the gray that I use. You can use any dark color. Um, we put on the background the dark color and then we use a light color to bring out the design. 
I chose the white, but you can choose any other color that is a pastel color. Remember, whenever you're doing this technique, and if you're doing any extra little designs or little touches around the three-dimensional, be sure that it is the same color of the color that you chose for that 3D. This 3D is a flat 3D. It's very basic, it's very simple, it's very commercial. You don't have to be an artist to create these small petals and make a nail look beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you created a design or have a special technique, an awesome technique using our Gel Prisa 3-in-1 gel polishes, want it to be featured in one of our future videos, take a picture, write step-by-step -step your procedure, and send it to creativedirector at TammyTaylorNails.com. Again, creativedirector at TammyTaylorNails.com. If your picture or your design is chosen, you can be the next talk of the town.